ceremony that began with this is, is to explain to the items that are accompanied to a bundle what it is that we're, we're looking at, what it is we hope to do. The taping of that, I think, was, was important um, for a couple of reasons. One, that it, it honors the vision that came from Kairos, you know, and, and their um, beautifully crafted or, or in gifted vision that came from. And two is that it demonstrates the relationship even under treaties. You know, we have two entities coming together, working together. And those treaties were recorded on paper and wampum belts, you know. So I thought that this was like a living treaty that we're acting out, we're enacting, we're giving it the, the force of our power. And so the, the, the ceremony was that, well, we've, we've named a number of items that we want to encase in this bundle. You know, so we wanted to talk to those items collectively you know, and uh, to bring them alive. You know, so now, as a consequence to the ceremony, they understand what, what it is of our wishes and our intention. The bundle itself, you know, for, for Indian country, um, it is about our relationship to the sacred. And that relationship to the sacred, we don't often see, you know, um, you know, physical, physical representations of our elders or, or our, our ancestors and our ancestors yet to come. You know, so that, so that the, the bundles in itself represents those voices, represents the instructions that were given to our people from from the moment of our journey on this side of the earth. Kind of thing. What brought all this together was, was a, a vision of, of not wanting to have these in, important work of, of responding to and in, 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 in feeling the pain that came from the missing of little ones, the murder of of people, of particularly women, but to do something really concrete, something that that uh, means something for us. And we have the murdered and missing uh, Indigenous women and girls report and recommendations. And we have the Royal Commission on in, on Aboriginal peoples and recommendations. And then we've got the treaties. And we've got constitutional law, and and all those are really important matters. United Nations Declaration on Indigenous Peoples. We have all these fundamental, really important contributions to how do we address this, but we don't. <laughs> you know, we, we, we do all this work, we commit all this time and all this energy and all this money to do nothing, no response. And so um, the, it was envisioned that we need to do something we need to do something, was to honor the suffering and the pain, uh, to honor um, those of us uh, who are willing to feel that, you know, and to act accordingly. And I see this as, uh, as, a, as a journey of redemption for all that time of, of coming to recommendations and, and findings and doing nothing about it, not being, none of that touching our lives kind of thing, you know. Oh. So, so here we have this, this, uh, uh, this vision and, and that those of us who are participating in this will probably uh, ripple to communities and people that we're not even cognizant of and how this will impact kind of thing, you know, and I'm just so, so proud to be, uh, and so thankful to be part of this, even in some minuscule way, you know, just to be part of that and contributing the wampum and the medicines to that. You know.